Welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. Today we are going to evaluate integral of square root of sine of x dx. Actually, we know this is uh, uh, this is an elliptic integral. Uh, and about uh, 10 or 11 months ago, I solved this integral using elliptic function. But in this video, I am going to evaluate this integral by using an infinite series. So, first of all, I am going to take a substitution. So, if we take sin of x is equal to t square then differentiate uh, okay before uh, differentiate i'm going to isolate the x so we know x is equal to uh, arc sin of t square then differentiate so dx is equal to we know derivative of arc sine function 1 over square root of 1 minus the square of angle so here t raised to the fourth power now according to chain rule we should multiply by derivative of t square so 2 times t here dt okay then uh, we can substitute here so integral of uh, square root of sine of x we know t times dx we know 2 times t 2 times t over square root of 1 minus t raised to the fourth power times dt okay then uh, next step integral of here 2 times uh, t square so i am going to write 2 times t square and here we have 1 over square root of 1 minus t raised to the fourth power so now uh, i am going to use a infinite series for 1 over square root of 1 minus t raised to the fourth power so we can write infinite sum n is equal 0 to infinity 2n factorial times t raised to the 4 times n over 2 raised to the 2n power times n factorial square here t t okay uh, actually you can generate uh, this series uh, i generate this series uh, by using binomial expansion so uh, as next step we can switch the integral sign and sigma notation so here n is equal 0 to infinity here 2n factorial so 2n factorial over here 2 raised to the 2n here 2 so we can write 2 raised to the 2n minus 1 times here n factorial square so n factorial square and then integral of now here t raised to the 4 times n but here t is square so we can simplify so we have t raised to the 4n plus 2 times dt okay then uh, here infinite series 0 to infinity 2n factorial over 2 raised to the 2n minus 1 times n factorial square now we can integrate so we can use power rules so here t raised to the 4n plus 3 over 4n plus 3 plus c okay then uh, here now we know sine of x is equal to t square so t is equal to the square root of sine x so sine x raised to the 1 half power now we can write this is equal to infinite sum 0 to infinity uh, here 2n factorial uh, now t we know sine of x sine of x raised to the 1 half power so 1 half times 4n we know 2 times n 1 half times 3 we know 3 over 2 over here 2 raised to the 2n minus 1 n factorial square times 4 times n plus 3 okay this is the answer for uh, square integral of square root of sine of x so maybe uh, this series uh, we can uh, represent by elliptic function okay thank you for watching